Meanwhile, uh, NASCOM uh, event playing out in Mumbai as well. We have been speaking to some of the key voices uh, within uh, the IT industry over there, the NASCOM Summit, uh, which is currently underway in Mumbai. Uh, here's the CEO of Emphasis, uh, Nitin Rakesh. Uh, he's recently taken charge over there. These are his views on uh, the guidance cut coming in from NASCOM uh, for the IT industry, the U.S. visa issues, as well as the growth dynamics of the entire space. Listen into what he had to say. Let's not make too much into the NASCOM forecast for the year because what, what they're trying to say is let's gather more data and do a more considered view by the time we get you know, updates on budgets from customers, probably Q2 of this year, calendar Q2 of this year. I wouldn't really make too much of it. Uh, if I had to put my hand on it, I think things will probably be stable to marginally better this year than the last year, at least uh, you know, in segments that we operate in, which is banking and insurance. Now, if we look at the H-1B visa issue in particular, if that bill goes through, have you done any calculations? Do you have a model on how much of an impact you could see that have on your margins, for example? Uh, answer is yes, we've done it. Uh, two, I think it's premature to talk about what impact there will be because uh, there is so much non-clarity on what that means, right? Whether the, it's prospective, retrospective, future visas. So there's a lot of ifs and buts right now. I think right now the focus really is to do some contingency planning, make sure that our business doesn't get disrupted in the very short term, and in the long run make sure that we are able to you know, uh, build a business despite any headwind that comes through, which means what kind of uh, sourcing and onboarding programs do we have, where do we source ta talent from, how do we build capabilities, and most importantly how do we find ways to mitigate some of this using things like automation and uh, you know, next generation technologies. Right, automation is a big one because that's really the big disruptor. Many of the jobs that we see now may not even exist at the end of the year. Um, what, uh, what's your take on this? I mean, will we see this completely change the IT industry as we know it? Are a lot of people looking at losing jobs? Anything that you have to say to do with that? This is, uh, I mean, the whole bus IT business is all about automation, right? End of the day, what is information technology? It's about process automation. It's about automating things that were being manually done. So over the last 50 years, the reason why IT is what it is is because it actually continues to automate and find areas of productivity. It probably is a little more accelerated now because of congruence of multiple technologies coming in. So while there may not be low-end jobs that may, that may get automated, there will be new ones, right? For example, automation engineers is a whole new breed of engineers that you didn't, need, you know, didn't have before but you need now. So I'm not in the camp which says automation is going to kill jobs. I think I'm in the camp which says it's an opportunity for us to transform the way we've looked at these things and potentially open up a new revenue stream from, from things that, uh, that are all things automation. I'm glad we got this opportunity to speak because you've just taken over just two weeks, just over two weeks at, at Emphasis. So what, what is going to be your focus now going ahead? Uh, where do you think the company needs to go? If you could share any targets that you have in the next fiscal or at the end of this year. I think it's too soon to give you targets. Uh, we are still in the process of our FI18 planning and a three-year strategic plan. Uh, I think one thing is very clear. There are a lot of things that have been done well. We'll continue to do them even better. So we'll continue to invest in areas around customer centricity. Next-gen services is a, is a good one because there's, there's already a good proportion of that uh, at emphasis. Uh, I also want to double down on investment in areas that I talked about, which is uh, uh, digital services, automation, cloud. Uh, we've got a good platform, but we have to double down and then also look for opportunities to grow in markets that probably we haven't serviced enough, uh, whether it is geography or potentially new sub-verticals within our banking capital markets and insurance domain. So I think a lot of, a lot of ideas are being discussed with the, with the management team. Uh, and we'll get a b much clearer idea over the next few weeks. If you, you, you mentioned geography, so could you give us any insight there? Sure. Which markets are you looking at? So US continues to be our primary market because that's where you know bulk of our revenue comes from. But we also have a very nice little business in Europe, headquartered in the UK, and I want to make sure that we continue to invest in that market given that uh, there is opportunity both in UK and on the continent. So I would say between UK and DAC, we should definitely do some work this year and next year, and definitely it's going to be part of a three-year plan. So that was Nitin Rakesh, the CEO at Emphasis, clearly stating that we should not make too much in terms of what the NASCOM guidance really gives out. Correct. And looking to invest and increase their investment in terms of what the BFSI segment goes, increase exposure in terms of where Europe is concerned as well. But in fact, from